Type 1, Type 2, J1772, and Manekis, you would have probably heard of those terms before. But if you haven't, chances are you will come across them very, very soon. Because what those are are electric vehicle charging plug types. And today I'm going to go over the different charging standards that are currently being in use in Australia and the differences between the varying plug types. My name is Ed and welcome to Juice Garage. As electric vehicle is constantly evolving, so does the technology behind the batteries and the way in which we charge them. And this is very similar to the phases when smartphones are switching over to USB-C and lightning port to support faster charging. Depending on which part of the world you're in, the plug types for both AC and DC changes. To find out more about the differences between AC and DC, click up here on the pop-up banner where I did a video on different levels of charging in Australia. Currently, Europe has adopted the Type 2, also known as Manekis for their AC charging and CCS2 for their DC. Japan, however, uses a Type 1, also known as J1772 for AC and Chatamo for DC charging. Similarly, with America, they have the Type 1 for AC charging, but they've adopted the CCS1 for their DC charging. To make things a little bit more confusing, Tesla in America has also got their own proprietary plug for both AC and DC. Lastly, we've got China who uses GBT for both AC and DC as well. Luckily for Australia, there are only four plug types that we need to know about, and that's Type 1 and Type 2 for AC charging, Chatamo and CCS2 for DC charging. All cars in Australia are currently made of a combination of these four plugs. That being said, all new electric vehicles coming out of Australia today is equipped with a Type 2 plug. And what this will mean is uh, CCS2 will most likely become the charging standards for DC as well. And I'll explain why in a second. Now, if we have a closer look at the AC plug types, right here I've got a Type 1, also known as a J1772 plug. Uh, and then on this side, I've got a Type 2, also known as a Manekis plug. Um, so as you can see here, the Type 1 has got a little button on top. And what happens is when this is plugged into the car, the little tab on top latches onto the socket to lock it in. Um, and then here you can also see that the bottom bit is a lot more rounder compared to that of the Type 2, which, is the, which has got a round bottom but a flattened out top. And this is how you can tell between a Type 1 and a Type 2 plug. Uh, but more importantly, I wanted to have a closer look at the pin configuration. As you can see, the Type 1 has got a 5-pin configuration, whereas the Type 2 has got a 7-pin configuration. And so two of the smaller pins is what we refer to as control pilot and proximity pilot. And this is what allows communications between the car and the charging stations um, to tell the charger when the car is full so it stops delivering power. Um, and then the three extra pin is for life, neutral and earth. Similarly, with the Type 2, you've actually got Life 1, Life 2, Life 3, Neutral and Earth. And so what that means is the Type 2 plug can actually support three-phase charging up to 22 kilowatt, um, as opposed to the Type 1 can only support up to single-phase charging 7 kilowatts. And this is part of the reason why the Type 1 is getting phased out and a lot of car manufacturers are moving towards the Type 2 because it's able to support a faster charge. Another reason why the Type 2 is becoming the charging standards moving forward is because of the DC charge port. Um, right here, I've got a CCS2 charging socket, and what CCS stands for is Combined Charging System with a Type 2 plug. Um, so as you can see on the top portion here, you've got a Type 2 plug. So what that means is when you're doing AC charging, you can just plug the Type 2 plug um, into the socket. And then when you come to DC charging, you've got the two additional pins down on the bottom, which is your life and neutral pin, which is what does the DC charging. And so the idea is that in an electric vehicle, you can have one socket like this, which support both AC and DC charging, as opposed to having uh, two different sockets for AC and DC. Most of the modern cars are using the Type 2 and CCS2 as the charging socket, such as the Hyundai Kona, Tesla Model 3, and the MG ZS EV. Some of the newer Japanese cars, such as the Nissan Leaf, whilst they've adopted the Type 2 as the AC charging standards, they've still retained the Chatamo for the DC charging. 
So thank you for watching the video. If you have found this video helpful, please like and share the video so a lot more people can see it. Uh, if you've got any further questions, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And then if you wanted to see a lot more content like this, please consider subscribing. So next time we upload a video, you will be the first to find out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.